Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about the tropical waves that are noted across the Atlantic Basin as well as Tropical Storm Carl and what is expected in terms of weather conditions for the next several days. And so before I go into details with these systems, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important updated video on the tropics. And to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. Okay, and so let us go ahead and start out with what is happening. So we're taking a look at infrared view of the North Atlantic and we see that there is quite a bit going on here. So there are a few tropical waves that are noted across the region. We have three that are out in the main development region and the one that is uh, off the coast of Africa in that region there is highlighted as a disturbance that is given a 20% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. However, the system has limited time because as we're going to be heading into the new week, uh, upper level winds are going to be increasing so that increase in that unfavorable wind shear is going to be inhibiting any further development of this. But nevertheless, it has a low chance to get itself together and possibly become something not likely to be anything very major or be a threat to land. So those other two tropical waves are out there propagating towards the west and one is entering the central Caribbean right now and so that tropical wave is inducing some activity in the area. Let's actually go and take a close look at the Caribbean here and so uh, there we have all that activity and that is extended from portions of Colombia uh, into uh, sections of the Caribbean such as Jamaica, Cuba and maybe even Haiti as well but where we're seeing most of that activity that convective activity taking place uh, in the vicinity of the Bahamas is actually associated with a cold front that is in the area so that cold front is uh, resulting in all those cool rainy conditions across those areas and so in terms of the tropical waves it is likely to bring increased rainfall to portions of Jamaica and other areas that are being affected such as Cuba uh, uh, as we are going to be heading throughout today and the best chance of rainfall would be in the afternoon hours and then if you look to the west of that there we have all of that convection that is associated with tropical storm carl so let's go ahead and move on to the cyclone and we're seeing here that Carl has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the southeast at 6 miles per hour. And so there is a tropical storm warning that is in blue in effect for portions of southern Mexico. So those areas can expect those tropical storm force winds, a lot of that heavy rainfall as well as maybe a little bit of storm surge but nothing too major expected from Carl in terms of the winds but the rainfall does a significant amount of damage with any tropical cyclones usually with the water from either the storm surge or the inland flooding due to continuous rainfall so those are what result in the uh, main issue in any landfall and tropical cyclone and so in this case with Carl of course it is not a hurricane or it's not a strong cyclone so uh, the winds are not going to be the main problem it's going to be the water and it is already affecting portions of Mexico and so uh, if you're there guys please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe in other areas such as northern Guatemala probably Belize as well will feel some impacts from this in terms of all that rainfall activity but of course the worst of it is expected across southern Mexico. Okay and so now let's go ahead and take a look at that wind shear map and then I want to go on to something that we're going to be looking forward to as we head into the latter part of this year go into the early part of next year uh, for portions of the Caribbean especially the Western Caribbean and so here we are looking at this map of the wind shear and we see that we have the red that indicates unfavorable wind shear that is or strong upper level winds we have the yellow that means neutral shear and the green that means favorable shear and uh, we are definitely seeing that things are not favorable in the vicinity of Carl so uh, it is not likely that the cyclone will intensify anymore but rather just slowly dissipate and will quickly dissipate once it makes its way inland because of course it is cut off from those warm ocean waters but nevertheless it is still going to be a rainfall threat in the area. And then as we head to the latter part of this year and starting about next week there will be a weather phenomenon that is going to be quite common or quite frequent across the region and that is the cold fronts that are upcoming 
And so the formation of cold fronts take place when we have cool, dry air coming down from North America, meeting the warm, moist air coming from the Gulf of Mexico. And so when we have those two air masses meeting, when we have that cold air advecting into that warm air, uh, we know that warm air is not so dense, it is light. So warm air rises above that cold air. And then next we can actually think of the water cycle where we have condensation happen with an increase in altitude and so that is going to be happening to that warm air as it rises and that is how uh, showers and thunderstorms start to develop and this can be a great deal for the U.S. because I mean uh, those severe thunderstorms usually develop across some states and bring along with them some very dangerous impacts in some areas so uh, that is the typical formation of a cold front and as i said this is going to be something that is going to become quite frequent for portions of the western caribbean as we're going to be heading into the latter part of this year and going into next year and of course i'm going to be given all the necessary updates on them as time goes by and even as we look at this forecast map here from the euro for the next several days we have the blues and the purples indicating cooler than normal temperatures meanwhile we have the reds yellows oranges indicating warmer than normal temperatures and so as we go to next week there we have that boundary right there all that cold air coming down from the u.s resulting in cooler than normal temperatures across portions of the southern u.s as well as uh the western caribbean and portions of central america as well and so so guys, uh, that is what is on the horizon as we're going to be heading into the uh, early to middle part of next week. That cold front is going to be making its way down and it could bring along with it cooler than normal temperatures. And so, of course, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated on what is happening across the tropics as time goes by. And not just with tropical weather, but of course, those frontal systems that are going to be making their way down from the U.S. and bringing impacts to the Caribbean. And so just to recap, we have those three tropical waves out in the main development region, one of which is highlighted as a disturbance that could develop. However, it is given limited time due to increasing upper level winds that are expected over the next several days. And then uh, in the central Caribbean, there is yet another tropical wave and some activities noted in the vicinity of it. And then uh, we have tropical storm Carl that is over in the Gulf of Mexico that is going to be making its way into uh, the southern part of Mexico and will be bringing along with it a lot of uh, heavy rainfall and that could induce flooding and mudslides across some areas and so uh, if you're in portions of Mexico again just reiterating that you should take all the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks when it comes on to not just Carl but any tropical cyclone. And so guys, that is really it for now. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.